Welcome back to the channel. Today in this video, I am presenting you with the official tutorial on how to run crates in GTA 5 online. Okay, so this tutorial, this method will be good for weeks like this week, where we have a bonus sale event. You have a double money bonus on your CEO crate sales, and this method, it it's going to be good. If you want to source and sell CEO crates, no matter if there is a sale bonus or not, it's just going to be the new official way to most effectively run your CEO crates. Okay, and please pay attention all the way through the video. There are some very important things I want to discuss at the end of the video, so please do not miss out on that as well. Now, before we begin, if you guys find tutorials like this useful, then consider subscribing to become part of the this channel and click the bell icon for future notifications. Leave a couple of likes while you're here because they all help out the channel. So first things first, it's getting set up. Now, you'll want to have at least two warehouses. It can be any size, but preferably the large warehouses are what you want to go with in addition, always source from your terabyte. This will help prevent the Lupe source missions, which can be a pain in the butt. All right, and park your terabyte outside of one of your warehouses. This will speed up the process as well. As always, make sure you've got snacks and armor, because you may have to use Thoseto prevent getting fight out by the NPCs. Now, we have the warehouse technicians. And you should always be using the warehouse technicians to source your crates in a passive manner. Now, the crates are a hybrid passive active business, but while you are actively sourcing your crates, you need to make sure you use the terabyte and always source three crates at a time. Okay, and as you are actively sourcing crates every time your warehouse technician is ready, you need to source from the warehouse technician as you are actively sourcing crates. That is the hybrid method right there. That's the best way and the most efficient way. Now, if you are delivering crates, and you have to deliver them one at a time, you need to make sure that instead of using the corona ring for the vehicles, you exit your vehicle, your terabyte, your chopper, your car, and you go in through the door. As you see right here, it is much quicker and more efficient to just deliver through the door of the warehouse versus the vehicle corona ring. And this will save you a bunch of time in the long run. Now, I always recommend to use the Mark II to source your crates with, and if you have to leave your Mark II behind to deliver a sale vehicle. Once you're back towards your terabyte, a really easy and quick way to call your personal vehicle back is go to your vehicles and interaction menu, request personal vehicle, and walk directly into your terabyte. Now, that will save you a couple of seconds, but if you're not by your terabyte, just call in the personal vehicle, and it will just take a little bit longer to get delivered, but it will be there for you. Okay, but this just kind of sheds a few seconds when you have your terabyte close to you while you're actively sourcing the crates. Now, when you are sourcing your crates, okay, and you get the Trackify source mission, what you need to do is pay attention to the radar. The very last red dot that pops up will be your target vehicle. All right, as you see right here, this is the last red dot that popped up, and this is going to be the target vehicle. This will save you some time. This will prevent you from having to search around the other dots until you find your target vehicle. All right, now, there may be an instance where you get the Trackify source mission. You open your phone, you go to the Trackify app, and then all the dots are just up on the radar instantly. Don't worry, don't freak out, just close your phone, reopen the app, and then the process will be the same. The last dot that pops up will be your target vehicle. As you see here, I'm using the Mark II. I'm going to go right towards the target vehicle, and this will be the vehicle that has the crate. Now, another thing to mention, if you get a mission where you've got three crates in one vehicle, you can wait, as you saw earlier, for the vehicle to get to a stoplight, and you can just hijack the vehicle. If not, don't worry. Just go a little bit further on down the road from the vehicle. Use a assault rifle or a combat MG, and you can just take out the driver and get the vehicle that way. Be careful what weapons you use, though, these vehicles can get destroyed pretty easy. All right, now, another tip is that if you get the source mission, where it shows one green crate on the radar, but your assistant calls, you saying you're getting messed with, and now there's multiple signals. The easiest way to figure this one out is the last green crate to stop blinking. All right, again, the last green crate to start blinking will be your target vehicle. That'll be the vehicle that has your three crates. That's really the easiest way to identify this target vehicle. And plus, it's the easiest way because you may not notice what's going on until oh, shoot, the crate is already blinking. And now I know that the last Kratato stop blinking will be my target vehicle. So just pay attention and you'll get it figured out, okay? And again, just move on further down the road from the target vehicle. Use a light weapon. I'd probably recommend against the minigun. Don't use that. Just take out the driver and you're good to go. 
All right, now, if you get the source mission where you have to go out to sea and there ice a marquee sailboat in two smaller boats, the rule is for this one, always take out the smaller boats first. If you take out the sailboats, the three crates will pop out. And if you take out the smaller boats after that, you risk destroying your crates in the explosions of the smaller boats that you take out. So always take the small boats first. Then the marquee sailboats, your three crates will pop out, then you can collect them and pick them up. So keep that in mind. That will definitely help prevent you from burning any of your crates. If you get a source mission where you have the police van. Again, this is one of those where if you catch them at a red light, you can just hijack the vehicle and go. If not, just open fire on the police van itself. After about 20 rounds, the SWAT team guys, the officers, they'll just jump out. They'll stop the van, get out, and you can commandeer the police van with your crates after they get out of the vehicle. Alright? It's real simple, real easy. So don't worry about having to do anything extra. Just either catch them at a red light or open up with some small arms fire, and you can take care of business from there. Real simple, real easy. And then you can move on. Alright? You may also get a source mission that is an obvious setup. You'll see unmarked police cars parked all around your target vehicle. Don't worry. Call Lester. And you can call Lester to remove cops and all of these source missions. Just go ahead and have Lester ready. Call him up, hover over the remove wanted level, feature, or option, and once you get in the vehicle, the cops will freak out. They'll spot on you, and then immediately just select remove wanted level, and the cops will disengage. And then you can just go about your way. If you notice your warehouse technicians are in the back of your warehouse, after you purchase a crate for them to source, you can use this back gate to get out of the warehouse. You don't have to run all the way back again, just something that can save you a few seconds that, in the long run, will save you a lot of time. Okay, a few more things I want to talk about. Starting out the 9 crate method. This is a great method to guarantee only one sale vehicle. All you have to do is grind until you have 9 crates in each warehouse, which takes no time at all and that'll guarantee one sale vehicle for you. Now, keep in mind, though, all sales can be done solo. You can sell a full large warehouse, 100% solo. I already have some videos showing you how to do this and what to do. Pay attention and be on the lookout for ghost raids. Yes, you can be raided at any one of your businesses without any warning or prompts. That's a feature that's just broken in the game. So a way for you to tell this is that if you can no longer enter any of your locations or your properties, if you can no longer launch, like a VIP headhunter mission, you might be getting raided and it could be a ghost raid. So go to each one of your locations and see if you can't automatically lock on or you don't see, like, maybe some bad guys outside your actual business location. Okay, to prevent CEO crate raids your large warehouse, you need to have under 78 crates. So you need to have 77 crates or less. And this is the only way to prevent a ghost raid at your CEO warehouses. That's for a large warehouse. And for your other businesses, you need to make sure that you have 50% of product or less. Okay, now, another very important thing is that if you get a sale that is glitched, say you are selling your CEO crate warehouse and you're in a Titan and it no longer registers your drops that you're making switch lobbies, do not close app switch lobbies that will save your sale and allow you to redo it. Okay, so there you have it, guys. This is your official how to source CEO crates, your special cargo in 2023. And as you just saw, some helpful advice for selling CEO crates. And if you get a glitched CEO crate sale and how to avoid that and save your sale. So again, and as I've mentioned before, I have many CEO crate tutorial, real and money guide videos, how to set up the whole business, everything. Just search on my channel CEO crates cargo and you can find a helpful videos to get you guys going through with the CEO crate business. It's a lot of fun. It's a great grind. And it's good money as well. And if you have anything you want to add, leave it in the comments. And if you guys found this tutorial informative or entertaining, then you know what to do. Smash that subscribe button, hit that bell icon. Leave a few likes while you're here. And hey, don't forget to check my channel other videos be the way. And I will see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe. And remember, take care.